Hello, my dear Pisces. This is your love and spirituality reading for the time between June 16 and June 30, 2017 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. I use the Legacy of the Divine Tarot by Zero Marketing, and I will start shuffling your cards. I call the Divine with love and light, and I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world, and I call the six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, Spirit and Cancer to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Pisces viewers. So I want my dear Pisces to have uh, uh, love in their lives. I want you to have loving relationships. Uh, I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, three of Wands, something is open, something is ready for you, Pisces. It's dream about what kind of ship you want to come in. So this is a good card. It's like it's a go card. Uh, I also want to take the chance to tell you that the sun in Gemini opponing Saturn. That's moving retrograde in Sagittarius. Um, you have a little page of swords jumping there. So Gemini. Um, so... Uh, the days until sun moves into cancer will be fiery with Gemini Sagittarius combination. The sun will continue opposing Saturn in Sagittarius when it moves into cancer. And the cancer Sagittarius combination represents the chariot, two opposite forces that need to be brought together to get your show on the road. The three of wands there. While Saturn, the strict teacher, will be going, uh, will be opposing the sun until June 24th. June 21st, we will have the midsummer solstice over the tropical of Cancer. And June 24, we will have the new moon in Cancer. Join there with the sun, Mercury and Mars. Uh, Venus will be in uh, Taurus this period. Neptune, Pluto and Saturn is still moving retrograde in, and Jupiter is moving direct sun, since June 10. Uh, for you Pisces, uh, Neptune moving retrograde in your sign is triangling Mars and sextiling Venus and Pluto in the beginning of the period um, until June um, 24th. Uh, what um, uh, Neptune also when we see when uh, when <laughs> Neptune also picks up a triangling with Mercury. I can't really read my own ha handwriting. And on the 29th, Neptune will also start triangling the sun. And moon moves through Pisces June 16 till 17. And we'll do another dance with Neptune in Pisces June 24. So, uh, I will just tune in for a few seconds. Okay. So my dear Pisces, this is your future and this is your now and this is the past. So the now is probably the second half of June 2017. But whenever you watch this, it's probably the exact right time to see it. You can also watch this video several times during the period. So you'll pick up new things uh, uh, along the way because some will feel may maybe foreign now, but uh, as the energy progresses, you will get to know more of the stuff that's, that I'm talking about here. Uh, so the first card for you is Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is very much connected to the moon and illusions. Uh, it's like not really knowing one's feeling. What do I want? What do I like? Why am I always ending up in the same position? Why, when I tried and tried to get out, I try to have target goals and orient towards them, and then I end up in the same place? Like I end up without a relationship. I end up without a job. I end up without uh, my friends or, uh, or feeling this way. It can be a state of mind, a state of feeling as well. Uh, so all the sevens are always uh, kind of a triggering to personal growth because uh, they are challenging. This is like being back in the original swamp, like the same thing happening over and over again. Uh, so it's like having the same nightmare over and over again until you find a solution and you don't have to live that nightmare anymore. So this is kind of a karmic issue within your feelings. It's something that you do or accept or don't do or um or don't accept <laughs> that you need to 
you need to see it. It's like an illusion, so it's hard to see it. Well, but there's a sun, kind of sun symbol in the middle. So when you are becoming aware, you will also become free from this and be able to take firm decisions within love and when it comes to what you're passionate about and things like this. Uh, here you have a strength card. So strength card is talking about when you can align with yourself, uh, with your intuition and with your feelings and instincts and lust and creativity. Like when you can acknowledge yourself and not try to be like goody good or try to follow certain rules or to fit in, but actually becoming fiercely you and deciding that everything about you is kind of good. It can be used for bad things, but it can also be used for good things. Uh, so try to uh, take the worst personality qualities that you have that you don't like and find ways for them where you actually can use them in a very beneficial way so that you will know that all your personality traits that you have is actually good. They are there for a reason to be used as for, for good things. Uh, so when you realize this, you can align with yourself and you don't have to fear your own feelings or your own desires or your own urges. For some of you, it will be like being addiction, uh, being addicted to different um, like chemicals, situations, people, things like this. But here with the strength card, you will kind of be able to to not pick up the mobile phone but just staying with a feeling of how it feels. And then you will get to know your strength. You will know to get to know your triggers because there's a trigger there that wants you to do something positive with that energy. But actually you are doing something negative. You are distorting the energy, you're disregarding it or aiming it in the wrong direction. You feel maybe you get the ignition from your soul like this is boring. Um, I want to have more adventure in my life and what you do you pick up your mobile phone that's not really it or uh, I would have I want to have love in my life and you take a drink because you don't want to feel that feeling so that's not it either you need to find out what your soul is all about it's something else it's more alive it's more pulsating it's more passionate it's more wild as well so uh, the next card is the seven of wands. So this is where you need to start sorting also your impulses, like where do they belong? So you might have an impulse of aggression and you don't like that impulse of aggression, but where can you aim it? In what situation uh, are it, is it really necessary? So sometimes you you want to be able to, to talk with a fierce voice when someone has crossed you in some way or your children does, doesn't really listen maybe you need to use a strict tone of voice and show aggression you can be nice as soon as the people be person behave again you say okay that's good well I forgive you <laughs> so with the seven of wands it's like you becoming a door bouncer uh, you are going to start sort uh, what you like and what you don't like in your life. And this is going to force you to be strong and you need to stand for what you believe in. You also need to be able to sort out friends and uh, people like all different situations that you actually don't like. You just endure them. Uh, it's a seven of cups and a seven of wands. So you have like spiritual growth here in the areas of, of feelings, emotions, your emotional state and also your expression, how you express yourself and your soul or follow your soul's longing or being able to put boundaries. This is being strong. It's like being a hero with a with a wands. It's like this hero energy. How do you want to use this hero energy? Uh, sometimes we don't use it at all. We let other people be hero and that's not necessary, especially not when you have the strength card here. You are like a, a, a courageous lion. So start to stand up for what you believe in and say no to what you don't want and yes to what you do want. Also, throw yourself out there a little bit. Here you have the world card. So this is talking about the karma that's being solved. So if you can solve those two issues with your uh, your fear of emotion and your fear of being the hero or being decisive or being authentically you or respect yourself. If you can solve them, you will be put on your highest path towards your highest destiny. For most of you, this will be in the past. But for some of you watching in early June, this might be happening uh, right now. So the world card is kind of saying that even if it's 
feeling like hell right now, it's exactly what the doctor have ordered. This is going to put you on the highest road to your highest destiny. And you have the strength card here in 21. Um, that's very mature. Uh, it's like uh, petty things won't really bother you so much anymore. You will be able to put yourself in the center and act rather cool. Even if people around you is acting dramatic, you can be much more emotionally stable. So that's that's good. And if you can't, so fake it until you make it. And we have conflicts here, the five of wands. This is going to be necessary. You have avoided conflict. You have done deflection maneuvers. You have deflected your own feelings. You have afflict, uh, afflicted, deflected your own strength. And now you need to start uh, to know how to use it. So you need to start telling people. And people not need to start telling you. There needs to be more honesty, more clearing the air, uh, less um, behaving like uh, like tipping around and, and just uh, being nice. This is... Um, uh, when you start to say no to people and yes to people, they are going to think that you are changing and to something that's not good for them. So they might put, put up a little bit of a fight, but this will be good for them also uh, because they will get to know you better. When you are having quarrels like this with other people, you can really get to know them better. Don't judge them so much for what... Uh, how they do or how they act with a tone of voice and things like this. Try to get to the core of what they are saying. Also get to the core of what you are saying. When you have said the same thing over and over again, you can say, okay, uh, I see uh, from my point of view now when you have told me this, I think that you uh, see me as a person that aren't really able to make decisions and this is making you agitated. And they can say, yes, yes, finally, that's it. Or they say, no, you misunderstand everything and you can start over. <laughs> so until you get this and, the other, and you can also tell the other people, person, this is what I mean. This is the core of what I'm saying. I don't want to oppose you or oppose you. I want to for you to understand me because this is always this what we want when we are quarreling like this. We want the other person to understand us. So try to understand each other um, and still don't make false compromises. Okay. Uh, so uh, it seems like you have been in a, in a little bit of a rocky situation where you probably wanted to behave like you always have. But now you're forced to behave differently. And this is going to cause conflict. And you are not going to be happy about it. But you can't do anything about it because this is not orchestrated by you. It's orchestrated by the divine to put you on your highest road towards your highest destiny and resolve a lot of karma. So it's just learned its lesson, learn to communicate, learn to communicate your feelings and your wants and needs and desires. Uh, get Let people get to know you, the true you. Don't hide behind false faces anymore. Okay, so this is in the now and here we have the fool. So of course, when something ends, something new begins with the world, it can be ending. It's like graduation. So we have to leave the old school and maybe begin a new one. So the fool is a new cycle here, a new beginning, a new start. And uh, you are going to be much more pure and honest here. You still have a mask on, but it's very pure and honest and brave energy. And it comes here flanking the strength card. So I think you are going to be a much more brave person, more integrated with your soul as well, and use your time in a more efficient way. You have the time here. Here it's all sand has gone down to the bottom and here all sand is up there. So you have a lot of time now to your disposal. Use it wi wisely. Don't waste time. I don't mean that you should run around and do a lot of things, but don't waste your time on the wrong uh, circumstances or with the wrong people new and fresh sacrifice the old because bring in the new so for some of you it will be a lot of like uh, ending relationships uh, stepping out of old workplaces that not longer for you you couldn't uh, you couldn't stay there another day uh, so things like this a lot of endings and then new beginnings and here comes the beautiful three of wands uh, so when you have aligned yourself with your soul, finally, finally, you can go on the trip that was meant for you, like your divine plan uh, for yourself. And, and the key to that plan is what do you want? Uh, 
What do you like? The things that you love, universe loves them too and want to see you having them. Uh, the things that you long for, universe long for it too and like to see you get this, what you long for. So there's no obstacles really. The only obstacle is you. And um, uh, if you aren't able to have hope or if you are getting like too much anticipation, so the hope is turning into like, I need to get it now. Uh, those kind of things is going to be in the way. Just trust uh, that everything is going to be in the way that you want them eventually and uh, not running after it but aiming towards it and always being keeping your cool uh, because when you start to run when you start to get agitated you are in the mood of I'm not ever going to get it and so you're never going to get it so you need to put yourself in the mood I want to have it and I will wait for it until it comes that's much better and 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 keep like bring out new arrows you can shoot new hours or arrows all the time against new targets and then start see what the harvest will be it might not be exactly what you want but it will probably be exactly what you need uh, so here in the center you have a queen of coins uh, so queen of coins uh, is a person that's very good with money she's very good with abundance she's very good with making friends uh, she's like the central sun, which everything revolves around. So it might be that you have a quarrel with this person or that this is the energy that you need to start to take in. Uh, it's, of course, self-love, taking care of yourself, pampering yourself, um, finding self-value, uh, integrating your soul. This person is enlightened. Uh, so with the queen of coins here, I think you can start to build a life uh, with that actually have some ground values like more security for yourself uh, because if you start to love yourself now and side with yourself and um, kind of align with your soul beautiful things will come to you it's like you are magnetic for abundance here you're becoming very like um, it's it's like you have this force field around you that will uh, attract very beautiful things so that's that's good. For some of you, it might be a person that have played a role in your life as a teacher. Sometimes we hate those teachers because they they are opposing us and, and are difficult people in our lives, but they are the greatest teacher. So if this is, the, is a teacher that you have and maybe need to let go of, uh, thank them. But this is also uh, 21. It's the Empress and this is the Minor Arcana Empress. So it's a very feminine energy here also within number three three is empress the next card is a two of swords uh, so two of swords is a situation <laughs> where you really don't want to face the truth here um, and you don't want to feel your feelings uh, so for some of you maybe you are missing um, an earth person this can be like it doesn't have to be a virgo capricorn or taurus it can be any any sign but it can be it's usually a masculine or a feminine quality that's very outgiving someone that has been stable there for you in your life and maybe uh, you want them back or they don't want you anymore it can be something like this and here you are acting like well i don't really care and uh, you really 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 don't want to feel your feelings it can also be this person that doesn't want to feel the feelings uh, it seems like there will be a break of contact here. It's not the ending, but it's like silent treatment. So someone might be uh, giving you silent treatment, maybe because you have learned to start to say no, or they have started to learn to say no and now giving you also the silent treatment. So, uh, But it's all, all okay. Let people do whatever they want. You can't control other people. You can only kind of control your own actions. And don't take whatever another person do personally. They do things out of their conscious level. And you need to do things like from your conscious level. So try to be more conscious and things will solve great. Uh, don't, um, don't feel that other people are your enemies. They are just there to mirror you. They are just there as your teachers um, making you see something that you need to see like with great contrast. Here you have an ace of coins. So... Uh, together with the 21 world it says that this is actually graduation time and uh, nothing has been um, like created yet it's going to be up to you to cruise through all those difficult feelings and difficult people and find your own true way and not compromise yourself and not um, 
not um, be like try to be very um, gracious with other people as well uh, try to be hopeful for them as well uh, because this will bring you into this maturity that the ace of coins is is giving so it's like you have a chance here like to take a, a, another step it might be that you're fearful to take this next step it might be so, someone who has given you an ultimatum and uh, and you are fearful of taking the next step and and you are giving them the silent treatment it might also be the other way around you want things to happen and your soul is ignited and maybe the other person isn't really on with your idea. But with the two of swords, it's, it's like trying to make a decision. Uh, should I go there or not? And uh, so maybe maybe give them a little bit time or give yourself time enough so you will be able to make a good decision that's both based on logic and heart. They need to be united. Here they are a bit separated. This person is trying to solve this only with their mind and that's not going to work. It's going to backfire because if you only solve things with like your 10% of your consciousness, that won't really help. You need to use your subconscious and your emotions and like have 100% of your of your mind to make this happen and also your soul's longing not selling yourself for a, a comfortable life on the short term um, you need to be brave uh, so here comes a uh, king of swords and it comes underneath the seven of cups and the fool so king of swords is aquarius it's this being very logic being very wise seeing things from uh, different people's perspective, uh, trying to be cool about it, trying to be gracious about it. It's an old warlord that's kind of have started to see things from another perspective and, and seeing that you can't solve a problem with the same uh, kind of behavior that caused the problem. So you need to see something in from another perspective or from another viewpoint. And it is about your feelings. And it might be that you here are integrating like uh, your masculine side like a, a caretaker that can take care of your your inner child and your feelings in a very gracious way and and uh, accepting those not like this judgmental father that says have no tears and buckle up but this one that sees your uh, sees your purity and your beautiful will to create a beautiful life but also see how you are tormented and therefore giving you a platform to work from to be more leveled and to be more uh, uh, like be, maybe you you need to uh, imagine like being Jesus or Muhammad or Buddha or someone when you are making decisions. So you will be able to make decisions that's not really in your character, but in the your character to be because you seem to start to mature here into a much higher level of consciousness. You have ended a big cycle of karma and you are beginning anew. And it seems like you have learned a lot in the previous uh, situation. So now you can be more clear-headed and also be more piercingly direct communicative being able to pinpoint exact a problem and and show also other people a mirror but very nicely like but maybe if you try this be gracious about it don't be um, because the king of swords can also be like writing people their truth on their nose and no one will really appreciate that so every person have their free will and their state of consciousness you can't really force them into yours uh, so but this is a very good archetype to have when you want emotional stability uh, when you want to be able to be just when you want to be able to be um, like level headed uh, so a father here and a mother but the father is much more logic and the mother is very earthy caretaking and maybe this this is going back to your childhood and childhood like um, you might have taken a decision in your childhood uh, to to do certain things to survive and I think you really need to change those now you're becoming more like your soul here um, and here we have a four of coins uh, so uh, okay, yes, you're going to have to put up, up more boundaries. As a Pisces, you might have been like uh, a little bit too emotional and maybe totally unable to build, build boundaries for yourself because your emotions were going to punish you uh, for doing something uh, where you sided with yourself. 
because if people leave you or they don't like you, uh, that will be totally terrible for you. Uh, but here it seems like your soul really wants you to be able to be level headed, logic, being able to have boundaries, no matter of the cost. So being able to sacrifice people that doesn't really show with their action that they are on your side, maybe they are not worth having. And if you show them like a clear boundary, you also give them the chance to change, to to act differently towards you. If you just tolerate, 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 um, one day you won't be want to be with these people anymore. So you are going to erupt like a volcanic explosion. Maybe you did this here. Um, and uh, that might be the end of the relationship. So it's better if you always tell people how you feel about things. You are not always going to win. You're not always going to have uh, be right. But you can at least tell uh, how you're thinking and seeing things. So four of wands, seven of wands, the queen of coins. You're really building a platform out of self-love and self-alignment. But it's very cool. It's very grounded. It's not, it's not edgy. It's not um, hateful. It's built on self-love. You're doing things from now on that's going to be out of self-love. What would someone that loved themselves do? Uh, this is how you're going to ask yourself and, and you're going to sort. You're not going to, uh, to always be there for other people and be able to help them with their things. You're also going to be there for you, nurturing your body. Uh, maybe you have had some health issues due to you restraining yourself or trying to be everything for everyone else. Now you're going to take care of yourself in a much more loving way. Her vision is creating her new future here. Your thoughts become the house you live in. Uh, so uh, I think you have been mirroring maybe um, like a person in your life that loved themselves and now you're going to learn to do this yourself as well, uh, becoming more cool. Uh, you are not so afraid anymore that the universe kind of doesn't like you and are always going to challenge you in bad ways because uh, you're, it's something wrong with you. This is not it. Uh, universe loves what you love. So when you love yourself, universe will love you too. But you still will be challenged. That won't change because challenge is how we grow. So 4-4 four, four is very stable. It's very masculine here in the future. Here it's a little bit more feminine, um, more random. It's a little bit cha chaotic because something is ending and something is taking a new beginning. And uh, there might be some silence going on maybe with an important person in your life. Um, it's a three and a four here. Uh, so maybe there's going to be some communication continue anyway, but maybe you are going to pretend that you don't really need each other. Uh, Ace of Swords. Oh, okay, so here the communication is going to become more clear and um, you are going to be able to communicate yourself more clear and more piercing and also more truthful. You are not going to protect yourself anymore with lies. Uh, the truth shall set you free and it will actually set your, your soul free as well. See here, the strength, uh, uh, siding with yourself, uh, whatever is there, um, uh, sign, uh, siding with your longing and everything, becoming very loving towards yourself and start communicating your new you to the rest of the world in a very beautiful manner. Uh, so... Uh, the next card here is the lovers. So it seems like if you had some difficulties here with your relationship, it might be a reconciliation or you might tell someone that you still love them or they might tell you. But there's going to be a time of silence and, and choice here first. So, uh, But the lovers is, um, it's kind of not when two people meet each other and, and, and there's instant love or uh, there's some meaning to their meeting because they are going to mirror each other. It's not this happily ever after thing. It's rather you're meeting a person that's mirroring your shadow. So you're going to get to learn your, uh, get to know your shadow. And we want to have many of us like, like monogamous long-term relationship. But when the work is done and you have integrated everything that that person represented for your shadow, uh, there will be a change. You might meet a new person that's going to um, to mirror something else within you. So for some of you, it will be that you're still maybe in love with with an earth sign person, but you're going to meet an air sign person and maybe start a new relationship. It might be a little hard because it's very, it's very masculine and edgy here, but 
but it seems that it can be a, a stable love relationship. It might also be that you are going to take in your masculine side and therefore the love relationship is going to be more stable. You are going to be more decisive and direct. It's it's making other people more comfortable as well when you are not like floating around the whole room and not being able to make up your mind or not being well organized or or having a strategy. Maybe you are going to be more organized and strategized and being able to make decisions that's very clear and also taking responsibility and um, um, communicating yourself in a way that so other people can understand. Uh, so this might be very beneficial for your relationships. So I will take a card from my new uh, uh, deck, Oracle of Visions. It's uh, by Cyril Marchetti. So it's the same uh, artist like this deck and see what's going on with you Pisces. It's what's not a very watery reading here. The first card was seven of cups and then no more water, but we had the lovers at least. So it's a little bit emotions. Mostly it's about your strength and being able to aim your energy towards your actual goal. And hmm, uh, you have this this card uh it's a mermaid that's kind of visiting uh the outside world like being able to visit air uh, so water being able to visit air that might be you uh, you're not going to dwell here you're not going to be a king of swords uh, but you need to be able to use the logic of air to be organized to be able to uh, put boundaries um, make a judgment call make decisions uh, so, and you see you have a, uh, it's a white dove there. It's oh, so shiny. So it's almost look like a blur just, but it's a white dove. So it's something with peace, uh, being a, like a peace judge, making peace, uh, telling a truth that might either hopefully heal uh, something. A truth is very healthy. And, um, and then you can go back to be your, still going to be a Pisces you're still going to be a water creatures creature but you need to sometimes be able to be logic and see true illusions this person is kind of having a little bit of an illusion here being behind a mask and a veil and everything uh, so okay and here you have the 47 it's about healing it's like the so a lot of forces in the universe work working for your healing right now so I think that's why you have the queen of coins really centered um, you are receiving a lot of energy so you will be able to heal and you are going to help by being able to say yes and no and also vision your new future what you really want to have and then things are going to hit off but right now your life has been a little bit chaotic so uh, you need to be logic and uh, forgiving and uh, you need to let uh, divine heal you. So you might not be able to like run around so much. For some of you, there might be a trip going on. Uh, um, vacation could be good, but uh, I wouldn't urge you to to be so much a human doer right now. More being like in this state of resting so you can heal because it's like your energy... Um, will be totally changed here um old things will go you have the 21 world and the fool so your old issues might be like erased and you will start a new a new beginning with a new stability and being very truthful and honest and open and and loving and considerating this father figure here it's like this person that knows that rules are necessary for for people to survive and also feel loved a child that doesn't have any rules will feel like no one cares so this one cares and are uh, having rules or making decisions just because that he cares uh, so you need to have this archetype within you i will also take cards for you from the past life oracle card to see what the karmic issues that now being solved that can be interesting oh probably those uh, male female there needs to be balance between the masculine and the feminine you need to have both you can't be just like out giving like this green energy just giving 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 or not just having things like my way or the highway and i rule them all it should be a um, a balance uh, the feminine energy needs the masculine energy to hold it so it can create 
uh, the female energy is creative. It's like um, uh, a bird sh chamber <laughs> and, uh, and the masculine energy is there to serve and protect and to aim that beautiful energy into more and more higher greatness. So there's supposed to be a beautiful cooperation here. We also have knighthood. So it seems like you need to be a hero in some matter, a very truthful and honorable hero and it, when it comes to love. Uh, so for some of you, you might sacrifice your ego and go to and tell someone that you still love them. Even maybe then you don't have no big hopes that you will be loved back, but you will still be heroic enough to do this. And it will be like a gift to the other person. And you are not thinking about yourself. You are seeing things from a higher level, higher point of... It's like you have come to some great, great insight um, that's um, kind of a little bit out of worldly with the unicorn here and the winged angel there and those eagles. Uh, so I think you will be able to make a very wise decision here in the future. You might be in July. This will happen right now. You are more into this uh, uh, healing stuff here. Uh, so it seems very promising for you, uh, Pisces. You have been able to take a big leap. And uh, so I, I really hope it would work out for the best. It seems like you will become very stable, very truthful. Uh, it's not saying anything about the outcome for you, but it's like you don't care anymore. You just do the thing that you are called to do uh, without uh, like any victories for yourself. You're becoming very selfless, but very uh, cool yet. You, you wouldn't ever let anyone treat you badly either. So it's like this totally new level of maturity. So my dear Pisces, take really good care of yourself and thank you for all of you watching, liking, subscribing and commenting to my videos. Uh, I have had very little time uh, answering but I read as many as possible and the channel uh, is really heightening the energy level of the channel so I'm very very grateful. Um, I might change deck during the summer, maybe in July or August, because this one is becoming a little worn out. But I'm going to try to keep it as long as possible because it's uh, it's a really nice deck. Uh, so be prepared for that as well. <laughs> and uh, so uh, bye bye. Hope to see you again in the uh, beginning of Jul July. Okay, bye bye.